Banjo's a pretty controversial character when it comes to how good he is. Yes. It's just like, he's really good. He's actually yeah, trash. And you're he like, all right, punks. guys. <laughs> Now that people kind of understand how to get around the, uh, what is it, the Wonder Wing? Yeah. Like, Wonder Wing has anti-tech. Wonder Wing has, it's, has good tech as well, you know. Um, but, yeah, uh, you know, For he's sure. a character. He can make walls uh, with the grenades. You know, you kind of have to, like, quickly pick up on how it's bouncing so you can try and maneuver around it. But, yeah. you know, you can't hyper-focus on it because that's what he wants you to do. Very similar to what, like, Rob and the gyro will be. It's just like, yeah, pay attention to the to the get hypnotized by my item so I can, you know, hurt you. And for sure, it's like uh, when the game first came out, uh, or when Banjo first came out. I mm -hmm. understood that that was going to be Banjo's main approach option. The uh, the grenade is going to be everything that Banjo wants to do. Mm -hmm. So now we have uh, you can see uh, Utopian Ray kind of using it pretty well. Yeah, and even using definitely. the egg shot, even using the egg shot to, uh, I'm not sure what, what that move is called. But, uh, I, I would just call it egg or egg shot. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, but, yeah, no, like, when you have projectiles and you're able to use them well, like, you know, it, it gives them a, a dimension of being a setup character, which is really yep. nice, you know. And you build up that wall, you can really frustrate them. Uh, Paolo, she's a really fast character, so it's kind of difficult to do that versus a character like her. Mm -hmm. But, you know. Once you got it going, you know, you can be fine. Yeah, uh, for sure. DeBuzz going to be taking that first stock. 105 damage. She's not the heaviest, uh, so this could even up fairly quickly, but, oh, yeah, you know. Oh, yeah, for sure. A nice, a, character. Yo a nice little yeah. uh, YOLO Wonder Wing uh, could do the trick. Yeah. <laughs> Banjo's a character that you can't really, like, get too many guaranteed setups, and you're just like, oh, okay, I'm just going to find you and kill you. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a little bit difficult, uh, but if he's able to find it, you know, Although it looks like, oh, yeah, yep, there we Wonder go. Wing. <laughs> Why not? You know? When you want to recover extra hard, you know. Uh, so, ooh. When you don't want to just recover. Okay, all right. I like that. The Wonder yeah. Wing actually uh, letting him just armor right through that up smash. For sure. And, uh, Good yeah. So, you know, Banjo, a pretty heavy character, same weight as uh, Rob and Snake. Okay. So, wow, uh, I, did, I yeah. actually didn't know that. He's a heavy boy, he's a bear. <laughs> like, <laughs> a bear that's shorter than Palutena. Yeah. <laughs> if we could point that well, out. Well, she's, she's a goddess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 excuse me. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, Ray now on his last stock. This is kind of basically the same sort of lead we saw from first stock to second. Yes. Uh, so if if it is able to follow the same trend, we'll see like him. DeBuzz will get, around, get him to around mid percent. Uh, before he's able to see the stock, but let's see if uh, Ray can make some any, any adaptations to like close that gap a little bit further. For sure, and let's not get it twisted. Uh, a nice Wonder Wing will do the trick at this percentage. Oh yeah, definitely. I don't know, man. That move should have spiked. Are you dead? Yes, you are. Was that up tilt? That was. I think so. That was strong. I didn't know the up tilt was that strong. Oh yeah, he's got more and uh, more. <laughs> In common with Snake, then you might think. Oh my goodness, that up tilt was like pretty yeah. strong. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, Utopian Rain, a really bad position right now. Um, although Banjo's recovery is really good, uh, like it, it's still scary for Banjo mm -hmm. to be off the stage like that. It's not a, uh, it's not a freebie to get back onto the stage. Nonetheless. Okay, I mean, a hundred damage for a character as heavy as Banjo, yeah, uh, and as a character who hits as hard as Banjo, you know, definitely possible. Um, to, you know, hit him. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And uh, Utopian Ray doing, I feel like he's playing this exactly how he needs to play it. Um, kind of slowly chipping away at this lead, taking a little bit of damage, but uh, keeping the buzz scared. 62% in on the buzz right now, opting to stay at the middle of the stage, full stage control right now. How's this edge guard gonna go? We're now, we're up, oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, we're now entering that, uh, that point in the game where like you kind of kill him by accident uh, or just like yeah. with like regular stuff it's like up air is uh, like a neutral tool uh, as well so kind of just saw uh, it's just like juggled him and that was it I'm really surprised he did that Wonder Wing over there that was like super punishable okay okay so yeah Ray okay, gonna be sticking switch. sticking to Banjo 
We d and the thing is, he does have a Joker. He does have a Palu. He does have a Olimar. I forgot about his Joker, honestly. Yeah. I haven't seen it in a while, but uh, he does have one. Did try the character out. <laughs> I love Banjo's run animation, man. It's so good. Okay. I'd like to see uh, Ray take some of that momentum he was building in the, the latter end of that game mm -hmm. and kind of... Kind of use it here at the start of this one, or All even right. throughout. Let's see what he can do with it. Okay. Yeah. So right now, uh, keeping the percents pretty even. Uh, the beginning of every match is like kind of like a bit of a slobber knocker. Uh -huh. um, although we do see the buzz is beginning to pull ahead. You know, bigger character, uh, also slower. Ooh, that was an interesting uh, nair. I don't think that was 100% intentional on how it ended up. Because he, like, landed right in front of me. He's just like, oh, yeah, yeah please grab yep. me. <laughs> you know? I would like to go for round two for the, the edge guard situation. <laughs> <Yeah>. Thank you. <laughs> I'd like to try that again, please. <laughs> Dash Jack going to put him back off stage. Okay. Opting to go high. Um, yeah. You will get up smash. Probably one of the best up smashes in the game. Top five for sure. That up smash is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Okay. Gonna get off that platform with a oh. get up attack. Just gonna, gonna grab him outright. Ooh, good coverage. Okay, has his edge guard gonna go? That uh, dash attack. Gonna keep him there. Grab, nice. Being aggressive on that uh, in his disadvantage state. I used to think that up air was so bad. Banjo's up air. It's uh, not bad though. Now that move is a it's a really uh, interesting juggle tool because like it's quick and doesn't have a lot of knockback. So you just keep putting them in that awkward position where they can just get hit by it again and again and again, you know? If that was Mewtwo, he would've got hit with that Wonder Wing. It looked like the Wonder Wing just missed uh, Palu's uh, toes, nonetheless. Does Banjo have a kill throw? I don't think so. I uh, guess it's just like down throw is, is I, his setup, so. I think back throw is pretty good. Is it? I think it I, might I, kill right now. I believe it. All but right, but who needs back throw? Yeah. When you got Wonder Wing. <laughs> when you just want to read their roll and just <laughs> really hit them for it. That's okay. a, that is optimal punish. Oh. Wonder and Wonder Wing. Wonder Wing sounds like a like a sidekick, a superhero sidekick. It is I'll, Superman and and Wonder Wing. I'll be honest. When I first started hearing the Smash community say Wonder Wing, I thought they were making fun of Zero. Zero. Wait, who? Like, oh, <laughs> I, I, I thought, yeah. Like, I was like, oh. And I was like, oh, a they're talking of, about Banjo. A lot of people have been wondering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll never unhear that. <laughs> I will never unhear that. I, anyway. Up here, going to do it. And DeBuzz only taking 7% on the second stock. It looks like he figured something out. But, I mean, that's the type of player DeBuzz is. Even I've c come close to getting the buzz like to his last stock and even getting to him to his last stock. But then the game after that, it was just a complete slobber knocker. So I knew he was just downloading me the entire time. But right now you can see the buzz kind of taking control of this match, opting to just reset the neutral. Um, understanding that he doesn't have to press any type of advantage. He can just kind of sit, force Utopian Ray to come to him, which is what he's doing. And something that might have gone uh, kind of like under the rug is Ooh. how much uh, the buzz is catching these grenades. He's catching the grenades and throwing them back. Kind of like he's playing Snake, which is what you have to do against Snake if you want to uh, <laughs> yeah. win that Yeah, there's that also matchup. the fact that like um, one of the advantages, like if we want to compare grenades, is that when you pick up the grenade and you toss it, you can't get hit by the explosion. Uh-huh. So, so it's like you're literally it's literally welcoming you to grab it. It's like yep. go for it, man. Because like if you can go in, it's bouncing, so you don't have to grab it with like uh, a ground option. You can like go in and then like jump back to pick it up with like a Z catch. Oh. So you can make it a complete like uh ooh. You know, just complete extra inputs. Okay. And that back here gonna seal that stock. Did you see dash attack beat out wonder or not beat out wonder with nice? Yeah. He knew the I mean, bomb was about to explode. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing. It's like, what are you going to really do in that situation at that point? Yeah. Yeah, that was unfortunate. He knew the bomb was going to explode. He didn't punish him where he was. He kicked him where he was going to be. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's just what you got to do.